In this workflow, I'll walk through how to update ArcGIS server services after a SQL Server instance change. I'll also show how you can update services that reference file-based data, such as map services and image services that are referencing data from a file or G database. Some reasons you may need to migrate your SQL instance or having to upgrade to a later release, or you're migrating to a later operating system. The G database can be easily migrated with a database backup and restore, but then you have to update your services. In this example, I have a SQL Server database installed on server PSO25466, which I'll just refer to as 66. Um, this server is going to be decommissioned, so I need to migrate the GDBase to a new SQL Server instance on PS25467, which I'll refer to as 67. I also have some services that are referencing data on 66. As you can see here, I have a DAMS map service that's referencing from a file share on 66 as well as an image service as well. So let's take a, I went ahead and migrated the Enterprise G database to 6.7 already, as well as all the file share data. Just take, we can quickly take a look at that. Go to the file share. Here's 6.7 where I migrated my Migrate Content Geo Database, it contains some content for the dams as well as my Mosaic Dataset Geo Database. I also have the data here in Pro, just so we can see the difference between the, the different servers. So here is my Enterprise Geo Database on 66. I have some parcel data. Um, the What I've done in 67 is remove some content. So within here, you can see I removed the lower half. And the reason I was doing this is removing content so we can easily see those services update after we walk through this workflow. The dam is the same thing. I have some point data here on the top left region. I went ahead and removed some of those dams, as you can see, as well as from my mosaic data set. Here is the entire county of Philadelphia. And again, I just removed some imagery. So the first step in this workflow is that we want to go ahead and update our data stores. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and one way to do that is through Archie Server Manager under my data stores tab. Here I have my database and my folder connection registered, but you can see that the edit button is grayed out. Uh, the reason being is because I actually registered these via Pro, so I'll have to do that through Portal. But if I registered my Enterprise G database or my folder connection through here, I could edit my connection there. So jump into Portal. I'm going to go ahead and locate my data source. So here's my Enterprise G database one. I'll go to my settings. Here we can see it's referencing 66. And I can click update password, and that will allow me to select a new SD connection file. So anything that's changed in this instance is just the instance name from 66 to 67. I'll go ahead and validate this. You can see that the instance is updated, and I'll save that. Now with the Enterprise G database data store connection, once I update that, the data will actually update. We can see that if I jump back to my web map here refresh, we'll see the lower half of those parcels be removed because it's now referencing the data from the new instance. However, if I look at the metadata here in RG Server Manager, we'll see that it's still pointing to 66. So to update that, we'll need to run a script. Before doing that, I'm going to update my other data for connection. Go back to my folder connection here. And we'll change this to 67. Validate that. And then we'll go ahead and make a save. So now that I've update, updated that, one thing to note is that that actually will not update the data. So if I refresh my dams, web map here, we'll still see that the data is all shown still. So it didn't actually update any data on the back end. So to do that, there's another script that will run that will update the file base content. So before executing those scripts, what I want to do is make a backup of my ArcGIS server directory. So back here in File Explorer, here's my ArcGIS server directory. I'm just going to make a copy of this and paste it here. After I go ahead and copy and paste this, I'm going to go ahead and shut down my ArcGIS server service so I can run these scripts and I'll make some changes to the necessary files in those directories. So while it's copying, I'm going to open up my Windows services, and we'll stop the R2 server service here. 
once my RTA server service is ready, is stopped, I'm ready to run the script. So I have one. We'll start with the Enterprise G database, update Enterprise G database data source. There's some variable sections that you'll need to update. One is the location of your ArcGIS input directory. So this is found on the ArcGIS server directory as well. And then I have my config store. So once you have those paths there, the only thing you'll have to update after that is the original SQL instance. So go from PS25466 to 67. Once I have that updated, I can go ahead and run my script. So we'll just we'll go through and find out any services that are referencing the enterprise database and update that, update the necessary files. Next, I have my update file based data stores. So again, variables are very similar: the Arches input and config store directory. But then I just need to update my original and new path. Since the only thing that changes is the instance here, and the rest of the path is remaining the same, I just can specify that instance here, as you can see. So I'll, again, I'll go through run through this, go iterate through those directories, update the necessary files, and then I can go ahead and start up my ArcGIS server instance. So I'll give that a minute or two. I'll pause the recording here and let that start up fully. So my ArcGIS server service is fully started up. Let's go ahead and take a look at our services now. We can start with the parcels one, which is referencing the enterprise G database. We can see now the metadata is referencing 67 now, as well as the layers within it. And let's take a look at the metadata for our file-based data. It's referencing 67 as well. And same for image service. Now let's take a look at that file-based data. So here's our dams web map. We can see now it's referencing the data from the correct instance. And then we'll jump here to our image service. And we can see that's referencing from the new server as well. So I hope you find these scripts useful. If you're migrating any content, either file base or your enterprise G database to a new server. Thank you.